And welcome back to the Reaction Smaction Train Wreck Station. And today we are looking at evictions. Now, if you're a landlord, then you've been on that side of it. If you're a tenant, then you've been on that side of it. I can say I've never been a landlord, but I am a tenant. I am a renter. So let's sit back, buckle up, and see where this train is going to wreck. I wouldn't be upset at that person. I would be, I would be like, give me the docket number. Yeah, they don't see this. She's gonna call. And I'm gonna call down there. But the, but, but what I normally see with that is, uh -huh. if people already know, somebody, everybody around them not gonna know. Yeah. Like for instance, I might not want you to know that I ain't paid rent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now what's your <laughs> so, name? So Neil, Neil Penn. Now the only problem I had with you was when I came in here, you like, what well, do you think I'm coming up for anything? I think it's because, black people. We have more respect for each other. Now, I preach that what you're talking about. Yeah, and we, we, are, we are the most un... Yeah, and now you be now you be I'm always that. like that. I'm always the same way, but it's people come at me. No, Somebody, you're not on the list of nothing. you coming in here, I need to see this paper. you the one out of all... Okay, I'm just going to say this up front because uh, black, white, Chinese, Hispanic, uh, Korean, Asian... Uh, Hindu, Muslim, that has nothing to do with it. Miss, you didn't pay your rent, so you getting the evict to the dead. Or you try to put it on me, but it's you that's out of order. Right. I'm in my official capacity of doing what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I, like I ain't even supposed to have nobody in here at all. I could have just come straight in and told her to step outside. I don't do that, though. I don't do it that way. Get out. But there are servers and sheriffs that come in right. and say, everybody outside right now. And you want me, and you, that's it. You're outside. You trespass. Right. Miss, you trespassing. You ain't paid rent since rent paid you, and God knows rent don't pay you, so there's that. What in the hillbilly hell do you think you're entitled to in someone else's property, in someone else's house? And you want to pull the race card? That made you look more ignorant than intelligent. Like he said, you trespassing. And it ain't about what color you are, it's about how stupid you look. Yes. Notes and letters on our doors. Oh, what a time. Why we didn't get no note and letter now? That's what I'm saying. I ain't sending out no paper. That's what I'm saying. How are we getting put out? Let me tell you something. By the time the court enforcement shows up at your door, you hooping and hollering, making yourself your childish ghetto and ignorant, does nothing for your case. All that does is tell them, hey, you're some uneducated fool, and I'm not saying it has anything to do with race because it doesn't. You're some uneducated fool who's screaming and hollering like the Karen you acting like, and you think because you're doing that, they're going to go, oh my gosh, oh, oh, sir, you're screaming and hollering. Let me just, no, you know what? Because you're acting the damn fool, you're entitled to stay. Have a nice day. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Kiki, Mitch just said, what's your name? You want to do before we go to work? I'm probably going to move each other. Yeah, you're going to move. You're going to get out of those people's house. Okay, because Mitch is in college. Yeah, just say, yeah, every time. Dang, that's kind of sad that we're going to shoot some baby stuff. Damn, my shit, crazy. What what is then who she talking to? Is she talking to the court or is she talking to the she talking office? To the she said that the court people been sent come out. We didn't get nothing though. Like I take the number, we ain't getting nothing. She she used to tell us to put the number on our dose. We passed she on she didn't tell us. I'm not even gonna lie. I haven't seen this particular one, but
But like I've told y'all before, whenever y'all see me watching something, y'all are watching it with me for the first time because I haven't seen this one, but I have seen other videos like this because I, I like this guy. He uh, works with the court and he does evictions. So, um, but it's funny because every, if you go to this guy's channel and watch his videos, um, Every one of them. We didn't get nothing. We didn't get no paperwork. We didn't get no, no, just no, mm, no. They just woke up this morning and said, this house, this house, that address, that address, this one, and maybe that one too. They all need to just go. I'm not. So I'm supposed to know that we're supposed to pay anything. We well, the court sends out a reset letter. That's probably what the court... Wait, what do you mean that you didn't know you were supposed to pay anything? Sir... Did you just thought you were supposed to just just move in and oh okay now this is your house, you you're just now the owner. No paperwork, no money, no nothing. You just that damn entitled, aren't you? Boy, talk man. And but, yeah, a lot of people say they didn't get it. Uh -huh. I hear that all the time, so I don't know. Hey. How much? You hear that all the time. You right? Too, because I've seen this other video. He hears it all the time. No, I gave you that. I did that before. We got our receipts. See, you know what I'm saying? We got well, our receipts. Well, your receipts, so don't let your receipts get bagged up. I honestly couldn't tell you how I would feel. Um, I told my husband last night because I was watching a different one of these videos. But I told my husband last night, I thank God and him that I've never been in this situation. Because, like I said, we've always made sure to pay our rent like i like i said i am a renter so i know what it's like and i have been in this situation so i know what that's like and like i said before i didn't get uh i didn't get asked to leave my house i actually didn't even get evicted because i was given a uh, 24 hour to to go but what happened was we had black mold um we had black mold issues in the other house but and I've been in this house since I left that house, which is 14 years ago. So I'm a very good tenant. I'm not asked to leave unless the house is unlivable. And in that situation, it was. Because I, where I'm at now, I've been here 14 plus years. And um, I, I, I pay my rent. I mean, my landlord has bills. I have bills. You know, people have bills, and you you don't just get to decide that. Oh, I I, I I'm gonna live in your house, but I'm not gonna pay. So there's that. Hey, no, in the draw, it's something in the draw. You be dying, but wait, and then I'm not gonna argue. Mm. I'm trying to see what she's saying, cause she know we pay her all this money. She still trying to come and just put us out though. She probably was probably going on in the court. She probably took it over already. Told them they paid. And then they get that free. Sir, please say something. Like, we ain't getting no notes. We ain't getting no paper. We ain't getting no nothing. We didn't know. No, no. You couldn't be acting like you were. You're not even a good actor, sir. You're not even a good actor. You suck at being a Karen, you suck at being a tenant, you suck oh, but at she being a tenant. She, she didn't try to let us know. It's not her job to be No, but we ain't. It's not her job to let us It's not the landlord's responsibility to let you know that you didn't pay your rent and that you are uh, getting evicted. You know you didn't pay your rent. And she knows you didn't pay your rent. She took it to the court. It's the court's job. Oh, and then it's the court's job to notify you that you're being evicted. Okay. 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 Not it, and you're surprised that's you hard. Suck, that you didn't put out. But I ain't gonna lie. Huh? I digress because I couldn't imagine, like I said, total strangers walking around my safe space, my domain. And this is what I told my husband. I'm like, I just couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine just being sitting here doing my thing and then having complete strangers walking off the street with black trash bags and just start bagging my stuff 
my stuff that's important to me, my stuff that's uh, sentimental to me, my stuff that, uh, like I said, I've been here 14 plus years. My, my kids grew up here, you know, we moved here when my boys were, I want to say six and seven, uh, and they're, they're now 19 and 21, so, I mean, we've been here a minute, you know, I, I really, I, I want to say they were six and seven, and that, they're there today, they're 19 and 21, so, I mean, we've been here a minute, and I just, I couldn't imagine I could imagine how how devastating that would be to me to just be like, if I truly had no clue. Now, keep that in mind. If I truly had absolutely no clue that, you know, this was getting ready to happen. If I was just like, I'm sitting here now. Now, if I knew it was going to happen, then there's that. Next time. Uh, we bring this money to we got another day. Hey, I know you gotta be up here. She said we can do it, but they start putting that stuff. But I will put this shit back in, though. I get, we got kids and I got yeah, kids. Here's the thing on that. that. So I don't Stand have. Like can, you see, on that part, right. I understand what you said about on that part. I don't have no say so. This is one, one thing I'm trying to explain when they come in. To do with that. I don't have no discretion. Let's uh, see. This is something else I told my husband because we do in the very near future, like, I mean, very near future, we do plan on changing our circumstances through the grace, grace of God being changed. And we are going to be landlords very soon. And I want to let you know, if you're a tenant of mine and you ever, ever try to weaponize your children, and by that I mean you try to use your children against me. Oh, we have kids. Well, you know what? They your kids. You should have thought about it's your job to think about your kids and the roof over their head and the food in their stomach. That ain't my job. Why is that my job? That was my job when my children were, like I said just now, six and seven. And that's what I did for 14 years. I put them in this house with the roof over their head, and they're now 19 and 21. Okay, so, and and I kept this roof over their head because I paid said rent. So don't try to weaponize your dying mother, your sick dog, and your five children as though I'm supposed to go, oh my gosh, oh my lord, you've got children, you didn't pay your rent, you don't take care of your responsibilities, you're teaching your children to be, I don't know, poor bum leeches, so they, you know, they're just going to be bottom feeders in society like you. You know what? I'm going to leave you here. No. Not going to happen. Because I'm going to swoop in and I'm going to give your ch your children the teaching of the day, which is going to be pay your bills or pay the consequences. Either way, you're going to pay. Nothing like that. I don't have nothing I can do. You can talk to them or talk to the court. She needs to talk to them. Yeah, that's what she needs to talk to them. Stop I couldn't care less. 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 Your children are the reason you get to stay for free. No, ma'am. That don't work with me. I'm sorry. It don't. You know, I, I, I've been a renter my children's entire lives. And I've got one that is 32, one that's 27, one that's 19, and I've got one that's 21. I've got four kids all together, two girls, two boys, and I paid rent, kept a roof over their head every day of their lives from the time they were born to the time they were grown. But she, she, from the judge, we didn't get the letter. Then, sure then she didn't. said, we pay the four figures right now. We good, but they start putting this stuff out. Then she, she don't know about this. I'm like, they can start, I'll put this shit back in here. Like, for real, I'm just trying to, that ain't crazy. Uh, Them to stop 
putting it out and you're going to pay the 450 then stop talking, stop playing, be about it, stop talking about it. Make it rain. What you add? What is you adding up? Why she acting like she she know we pay her? Why people acting like that? We ain't paid. You ain't paid. I'm from New Orleans, so we like to call him stunting. He's just stunting. He's what they, he's doing what they call stuff. What? Where I'm from, he's just stuff. He's showing off. He what acting like he's going to do something. And the end, he ain't going to do nothing. That's why when people still putting their stuff out. Because uh, I don't care how long you've been doing it. You can be doing it for 10 phone calls on your little phone. Your phone bill might be paid before rent is not. You got to pay. But because your phone bill is paid, you have to look to it. So it's not with you. These people are never as devastated as I would be because truly if somebody knocked on my door right now, I know my rent paid because right here in my drawer, I got the receipts. <laughs> That's what the, I, I, I'm not even playing. These are rent receipts. So, you know, there's that. There is no way on uh, God's green earth and hillbilly hell that, uh-uh, nope, there's my, mm -mm, nope, <laughs> no, I have it right handy, right quick, right here, right now, my rent is paid in full and up to date until the next month on the due date, and then at that point, it will be uh, paid again, no questions asked, no problem, ma'am. <laughs> that's what I'm saying if somebody showed up on my doorstep right now I truly would be like shocked, surprised devastated, like what in the world these people ain't shocked they knew this was coming, they've known for probably the last six months they ain't paid rent you can't just stop paying a bill and then wonder why that service went away it's like if you stop paying your light bill don't wonder why the lights got cut off if you stop paying your Wi-Fi bill stop. don't wonder why your internet got cut off. If you stop paying your cable bill, don't wonder why your TV ain't playing. When you go out to eat, don't wonder why you end up in handcuffs at the end of your delicious meal. If you don't pay the bill. That's all I'm saying. That's all I want to know. That's all we need And if he was half the player he was trying to be, he would have played that way. And he got the lady on speaker like, he like, he 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 want to hit the She's talking about, no, you got out of the seat from her. You take, you take her ass. She cannot do it. Fine, you got, I don't know if you can do it. Do it. And the long came about a dollar. What? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
If you're from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying when I say he's stuck. He walks around stuck. He, he's just sitting on the show. He, he's doing his best to not be embarrassed. He's doing his best to not look like a, a straight up Jack Buffoon uh, for his girlfriend or wife, whoever that is to him. But they got kids. My husband said that to me the other day. Um, we were sitting at dinner and we were discussing the the prospect of becoming landlords very, very soon. And um, he said, well, what are you going to do if somebody doesn't pay rent and their mother is ill and their money is going towards their mother? Then you know what? Sir, ma'am, I never had a mother that I know of. I was raised in the foster care system, and I spent my entire life growing up in and out of group homes. So the the nuclear family, I did not have. So I, I couldn't tell you what it's like to lose a parent, but I am not without heart. So if you come to me a week before you're going to be late on your first your first time on your first rent. So if you've been in my house for three, four, five years, a week before your rent's due on the 12th, come to me on the 1st or the 6th and tell me, look, this going on, that's going on. My mama, my daddy, my uncle's auntie stubbed the toe, the toenail curled up. It got bent. It's broken off. I can't pay rent because of the doctor bills. No problem, sir. I will give you 14-day grace period. I see we will reevaluate this, this situation in 14 days. Let's say 14 days pass and you still can't pay. No problem. Okay. I'm willing to work with you, sir, because I understand. Now, I don't have the nuclear family. I didn't have the nuclear family growing up. Like I said, I grew up in a group home, and I shared um, a bedroom with three other girls. We had two bunk beds, one here, one here. So I had three roommates at any given time. But since I've been an adult, I've got my husband, and I've got my children. And so I understand the nuclear family. Now that I've had one for years, because like I said, my own children are 32, 27, 19, and 21. So with that being said, don't talk to me. Don't avoid me. Because if you avoid me and I go to court, at, that, at the point that I have to go to court because you've ignored me and you stopped paying rent and we're three months into you not paying rent and you ignore my calls, I don't care if you have a dying giraffe, you getting the hell up out my house. Okay, um, so now We've skipped over to part one, the video that you just saw. That was actually part two. So we're looking at these in reverse. So now, welcome to part one of the same eviction. Girl, your stuff is going to get put out. It is a sheriff, police, or something here to put everything out, take a picture. Okay, I don't know. He said that something is the eviction, girl. I'm talking they're going to take everything out of the house right now. How you doing? Hey. Look for me. She's at work. Okay, yeah. This is an eviction. Oh, really? That's what it is. How many people in here? Says on um, me and my four children. I didn't know nothing about this. Are you the leaseholder? Um, she is. She's at work. She gets off at six. But you might need to call her. Wow. Any weapons or anything like that in here? I don't own a weapon. I'm just over here my brother had my brother and his girlfriend for a little while. But why would we call him? 
By what everything has to get out the house right now? Yep, that's what we're here for. I'm gonna set it out. Now the way this works is I come in, I take pictures of everything. Once I get my pictures taken, the crew comes in, we start setting it out. Well, can I have a minute to call them, please? Because I didn't know nothing. Sorry, this is so shocking to me. Well, eviction, though, this is how evictions work. As soon as I show here, whoever was living here don't live here anymore. Right. And really? So, right. I did not, I promise that I don't know nothing about it. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't understand how evictions work. But it's not one of them things where I can come back. Come on, you don't live here no more. It's an eviction. Mm -hmm. That's a, wow. That's what it is. Okay, can I move my own things? Do I have to? Please? Well, that's what an eviction yeah. is. Well, yeah, my cousin say that's what I'm saying. Can I move my kids? Can I do that at least? Get my kids out the way, please? Sir? Well, yeah, you have to get the kids out. And that's mm -hmm. why I'm going to come in and take my pictures. And while I'm doing that, what I would advise you to do is uh -huh. that you got any jewelry, mm -hmm. money. Yes cell phones, that kind of stuff. Go ahead and gather that stuff up because you don't want us putting that in a bag. Please don't put my stuff in a bag, sir. That's what I'm saying. See, so go ahead and start gathering that stuff, stuff up bag, while I'm taking man. my pictures. You and have then you need to get the kids. She has the eviction manager to pull her stuff out. Uh, the eviction people tell me to come up here and help me, please. Yes, girl, yes. Excuse me, sorry. I guess you take three pictures to show condition. Now, like I said, if y'all notice, this is the same. Um, this is, I kind of played it in reverse because the first one I watched was the guy on the phone acting crazy. That was part two of this. This is part one. So I'm going to edit it all together for you. So you can watch it as one video. I'm actually watching it as two. But um, that's why we're watching it backwards. But you'll get the gist of it. Okay, so what do you think? I just drove down the street and just came over here. No, sir, we're not saying that. I mean, come on, you got to, you got to think about think about stuff now. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but you have to justify why I'm here. The only your your own answer to why I'm here is a is a mistake. I mean, come on now, it ain't no mistake. This is a writ from Gerald Sessions Court for this. Okay. Girl, your stuff is gonna get put out. Yeah. It is a uh, sheriff police or something here to put everything out, take the pictures. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. He said that something is to get the eviction, girl. I'm talking about they're gonna take everything out the house right now. He's a court enforcer. He does not okay, she have she the ability she to. Somebody was violent. She, they think she's on the phone. Who's this? He does not have the ability yeah, the, um, to detain the owner of the and or arrest you. Hello? Hello, sir? Yes. I have been paying my bills. Hello, I have been paying my bills, and I have paid that woman. Okay, but here, here's, and, uh, the, here's the problem. Let, let me explain something to you. She said that was the I, All I do is evictions. That's, That's what I do. Thing. I don't collect okay, rent. I don't I know. Been, been, I'm, well, I'm trying to explain okay, it to you because I, been, I, I don't have no discretion. I don't have anything that you can explain. I have been paying her. I ain't no need for y'all to take my stuff down. I have been paying that woman. Then she I have been paying that woman. Well, you need to call General Sessions Court, man. You want me to give you the docket number? General Sessions Court is the one who issued this. A judge from General Sessions Court. You might need to contact General Sessions. General Sessions Court. General Sessions Court. I don't know if I got the number. 
Hold on. Let me see if I got the number. God bless him for at least trying to look it up for it because he doesn't know for that. The sad part is, if he actually did come across somebody who, like, didn't have a reason to be getting kicked out, me and him both would be shocked because they all do the same. Yeah. They didn't know, I wasn't told, I didn't hear about it. Okay, they you know, okay, didn't know. He did, he found them you know, right. before, God bless him, because, you know, you know I'm not so sure I would have went through that all day because you, you should have had that. You want your docket number? Yeah, you want your docket number? Right. Uh, that's the area. What's the area code? Area code is 901. Yes. Shit, take your money and see if you match your cap. It don't make no sense. Then I'm going to give you a docket number because they're going to ask you for your docket number when you call. Hold on, wait, wait. I'm seeing a baby, but I'm going to go. My heart goes out to the children, but it's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, my heart can, does go out that, uh, to the children. Can, uh, that no, I'm not going to just children. tell you the docket number. Okay, you can. Yes. Yeah, and I mean, then one. No, this is your docket number for your court case. Uh, 205. See, I, I'm somebody's trying to buzz in on your phone. I don't even care about that, sir. I heard go out to these children. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I don't have a heart at all. It's not like I don't care for these children. My heart goes out to these children. They're the innocence of the most innocent. Um, I saw one the other day where five dogs were locked up and abandoned in a house that he did an eviction in. The kids, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. The, the kids and the pets, my heart really does go out to, but it's not my job to take care of them. So when you throw your kids at me, like that's supposed to make me go, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. <gasps> I didn't realize you had kids. You know what? You stay here. You don't pay rent. You don't even have to pay your light bill. You don't pay nothing the rest of your life because you got kids. I mean, come on. Like, Ed, Ed, it's like when you start weaponizing your kids, like you're going to use your kids against me, miss. I don't know you. I don't know your kids. Now, if my daughter was to do some crap like that, it might, to me, it might make a difference because her kids are my grandkids and I have a personal relationship with them. But, you know, it's like, it's not my responsibility to take care of your kids. So, like I said, I'm not without a heart, but being moved by truth and justice, the truth is, it's not justice for me to allow you to stay in the house just because you have kids. Not only would it be misleading and um, neglectful to you, but it would be teaching your children the the same apparent ignorant lesson that you want to teach them. And I'm not going to take part in you teaching your children that, you know, you could do whatever you want and there's no consequences for it. Okay, I'm sure I'll be calling them in the in the first minute, right after I get a talk job. Okay. All right. Meet you on the way to get y'all. And I'm guessing he's blurring. Meet you on the way to get y'all because the person that's overhearing this is the child. And that's why he okay, keeps going. But then when the child well, comes from the south, he's doing his job. He's taking his seat. He's so. no longer your home. Okay. Kyle Kiki, y'all gonna come on. We're here. Let me. I'm not trying to be rude with y'all. This is the. It's a tough situation. But let me explain to you how it works. I'm the one who does the evictions. 
but I'm not the cause of the eviction. And what people do when I get here, they want to start trying to explain it to me. Right. But there were two people that's in charge, either the landlord or the court. It ain't me. Yeah. So that's why a lot of times when I'm on eviction, people are talking like, well, call the court. You see this is from the court, but they don't want to call the court because they already know what the court going to say. Yeah, she was the court, though, and they... He right. The next day, after they went to court, you know, right. everything was done. Everything was done. So, is she evicting them all the court? No, no. She wasn't evicted at that moment. What she was given was she was given notice of eviction. See, people don't just go to court and get evicted that day unless you have a situation like I did. And like I said, I even was not evicted. I was given notice of need to move now in my situation like i said there was a severe black mold issue that had happened and um i kind of thought it was black mold so we called in my husband and i called in a building inspector and he came in and he was like sure enough it was black mold he said um Y'all need to not even, because he, he was like, come on, come on, talk to me outside. And he's like, I need to lock this door, and, and y'all need to not even go back in there. And I'm like, my everything is in there. And he said, well, where are your kids? And Because I had lived over there for a while, too, so they knew I had kids. And I said, well, they're not here. They're in another part of the state with their sister. At which time he said, well... I don't like doing this, but y'all are grown and y'all have already been living in there. So he said, I will give you 24 hours to get what you want out of there. He said, but what I would suggest if you're taking anything, clothing, stuffed animals, blankets, if you're taking anything of that nature, it's going to have to be washed. And so even with that, we were given... 24 hour notice and it was hard work but you know we packed up our entire home and you know we we brought it what we could to the laundromat and then we cleaned off everything uh from that house on the porch of this house and we moved in and that was 14 years ago but an eviction does not just happen you get notice in, at the court to vacate the premises and that's what it's called. It's called a notice of vacate. And by the time he shows up, then it's called an eviction. She already know she's eviction also. He wasn't evicted no more. So this just got brought up out of the blue. Yeah, so, so are you saying that they they not behind or they they not here already? Right here in the kitchen. Okay, but here's a here's the thing she now, and that could be true, oh, yeah. but more than likely, I'm just saying from my experience doing this. Mm -hmm. People ain't putting nobody out there paying rent. Yeah. I mean, not in this time. That's not if true. You caught up on your rent. They ain't putting you out. Why did she get a notice or something? That's not true either. Um, and I don't know if, he, if it's because he's in a different state, but you could be all caught up to uh, par on your rent. And there's this thing called a uh, breach of contract. So if your landlord, like if my landlord showed up, today and and took my rent but my rental agreement says that i'm not going to have a swimming pool and five dogs on the premises or be or, or have a pet because he has a no pet policy and then he shows up tomorrow and i've got a swimming pool and five dogs in the backyard that's a breach of contract and it doesn't matter how i, I like i said it doesn't matter that I just gave him rent yesterday. He has the right to put me out, even though the rent's up to code or up to. Oh. You know, your court is the nose. I hear that all. I promise you, I hear that all the time. But you get, you go to court, and that's why you have to deal with the court. Mm -hmm. If you didn't get no notice or the court doing you wrong, then that's where your issues at is with right. the so people who issued this. Yeah, they wait on you. They wait. So this is where it's, it's like, at. Like, how does he have a copy, but they don't? That always amazes me. And I'm gonna call down there, but the but but what I normally see with that is, uh -huh. if people already know, somebody, everybody around them not gonna know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just because your auntie's cousin's uncle's <laughs> now what's your so name? Neil Neil Pena. Now the only thing 
Just because the babysitter and the auntie, uncle, cousins don't know. The dogs don't because know. The kids don't know. Mm -hmm. Now, now I, I preach that what you're talking about. Yeah, and you we, 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 are, we are the most un. Yeah, and now you're being. Now you're being I'm always like that. I'm always the same way, but it's people come at me. No, Somebody, you're not on no list of nothing. You coming in here. Mm -hmm. I need to see this paper. You're the one out of order. You try to put it on me, but it's you that's out of order. I'm in my official capacity of doing what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I ain't even supposed to have nobody in here at all. I could have just come straight in and told her to step outside. Mm -hmm. I don't do that, though. I don't do it that way. But there are servers and sheriffs that come in and say, everybody outside, right mm -hmm. now. And you want me, and you, that's it. You're outside. Seen you those, trespass. I've seen those uh, videos. Too. But I don't understand why it was no notice. She that's all I'm saying. She probably didn't understand when she was the court. She did. She, look, y'all are calling y'all for the state that court. Well, she probably didn't understand she what was going on. Well, I, I, well here's my thing. I, like I say, I don't know what's all. It could be no money on. However, just for me doing this every day. She paid More than all likely, bills it it's looked a like lot of money owed. Oh, that's the why TV they, they was on. Yeah, they can evict for. There's no reason why she can evict. Well, like if, when when sometimes you can just be evicted, like you've been drugs or something yeah, like that. Right. But 99 percent of the time, it's old money. Yeah. I'm trying to see. Okay, this went through court October the 14th. Uh-huh. Hey, no, so, right before court. Uh, you scared me. I didn't know what the thing right was. before I Halloween. You. Well, you know, it, it, it's a I tough thing. Maybe they passed the law because you said she said she paid. Oh. She did. Oh, the receipt in there. The receipt in there. She did. But see, I'm going to tell you what I get, though. This, this is why I can't. Sometimes you have to be a little harsh because people come at you like it's my fault. So I have to let people know. Wait a minute now. I think it's because it's we, so we don't. It's, 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 it's no warning. It just happened at the blue. Right. right. She got a I want to get my kids out of here. Like I don't know. She young. She yeah, but she probably knew though. Yeah. You didn't know. You have to remember. You the leaseholder is the one you're going to communicate with. All right. So, um, I'm going to end this here. Guys, I'm going to end this here because. It's just, uh, after this, she showed absolutely no evidence, and a whole bunch of ads popped up, and they ended up putting the woman's stuff out on the street. Now, you're welcome to go over to this guy's channel, and what I will do is I will leave his information up here. I will leave that available so that y'all can see it and go join his channel, subscribe to his channel. Hey. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, uh, drop a comment, drop a no comment, drop a hootie ho ho on my st uh, on my channel. Go over there and drop a, a thumbs up and a you know a job well done on his channel. And I I'm I'm reeling this train wreck back into the reaction smashing train wreck station because. I, I don't, <laughs> I mean, this one is better than the last one, but it, it's still, at the end of the day, when you try to weaponize your children and you try to weaponize family members, and by weaponize, I mean, you try to use your, your kids, your pets, your grandma, your mama, your auntie's uncle, cousin against me, like that's my problem. No, at the end of the day, housing your kids birthing your kids, diapering your kids, feeding your kids, that's a, your problem. And so with that, I am going to say, have a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for passing by the Reaction Smaction channel. It might not have saw it here first. Hopefully you saw it here last, but you never know. Yes.